Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card I used the stamp sets. They're vibrant vases. And I use them flowers and that vase. The background brick. I actually use this stamp I bought in Peterborough. It's a massive background stamp and it's brick wall and I'll be using that um, for the card itself you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for inside and one for the front I have got two pieces of designer series paper. I can't remember the name of the pack. It was in last year's paper. But both of these measure four inches by two and three quarters. And they will sit on the front like that. I've also cut out a oval from the, I think this was the th third largest and the same with the plain oval so I've cut them out in black rubeless and one in white you also need a bit of thread which I've got here and then a scrap of white to do the sentiment and I use the classic label punch to punch that out. So to get started, let's do this first. Stamp the... Oh, I haven't even got any stamps out. Terrible burns. Right. this vase right so we use this and stamp the flowers near the top Perfect. Stand clean. That's all I need there. Go out to dry. On the scrap, I need to stamp the vase because we're going to punch it out with the man matching punch. Punches out the vase, and I obviously need that one. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, the thank you sentiment, which I'll stamp there. So, I'll punch thank you out. Like that. And I'll keep the vase so we can colour it in before I punch it out. That way it'll give me a bit, you know, car to hold on. So we'll put that to one side and we'll colour that in in a minute. We need this background, this one card, and we need this big stamp. Alright, I'm not putting it on a block. 
I'm just going to leave it there. I didn't bring my soft suede. No. Um, smoky slate. That's what I used. With smoky slate, I just inked it all up. Oh, not all of it, because I don't need all of it. A big portion of it. And then with a scrap of paper, place this on. And with a scrap of paper, I just rubbed it all over. And there is my worn, lovely stamp. And just cleaned it off. And don't need that no more. Pop that on top. And put it in its pocket. That actually came with the stamp, this pocket. Right. So now what we need to do is stick this and this on there, like that. And then we'll stick this on a card base. Stick my plain bit inside. Any uh, new subscribers, the reason why I do put a bit inside, or even on a white card, but is to balance the card out because it's got all this weight on the front and no weight on the back, so I put that out and it helps to balance it out. That is why I do it. Right, put that to one side for now. And we're going to colour in these, the vase and the flowers. I've done with Rich, no, Blackberry Bliss, Light. I just coloured all the petals in.
Don't take two minutes to do. Or three. And while I've got this out, I'm going to go just over the pattern of the bars and the top bit. Like that. I, I also need some old olive for the leaves. And some, what's this one? So saffron, for the middle of the flowers. And crumb cake for the vase. going to punch out the vase, which might be easier said than done. It's not cut out very well, but that's all right. I'll just go around it with scissors. That's it. Yeah. And that will sit on there. Don't need that, don't need that. That will go on dimensionals. Put the lid on this. Oh, I never looked for large um, dimensionals. Never mind. card in and take the backings off all these dimensionals and we're going to sit that in the middle of the from cake. Oh, 
looks a bit daft without the vase, doesn't it? <coughs> right, pop the vase on. Like that. And where did I put this? Oh, up here. I'm actually going to glue that flat because I like that flat. do now is add some gems now I know I've got gold ones out and with my poke tool we're going to add two here close together one here and two here close together is the card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Or like I say, thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Oh, I never put the ribbon on. Let me put the ribbon on, not ribbon. Um, thread linen thread that's what it's called don't want it too big do we and then we'll chop off Yeah, so let's pop a bit of glue on the vase and pop that on and hold it down for a minute or two or a second. I always seem to forget to do something. On one of the Christmas cards I did, a Christmas tree I forgot to put the stars on it on camera I did do it off camera but I forgot to do it on camera anyway that's it complete I hope you like it <laughs>